I'm doing free code camp, JavaScript algos and data structures. We completed the basic JavaScript course. So you can find all 113 lessons of that on my channel if you're still going through that. And we are now in ES6 uh, on challenge 12 of 29. And we are going to use the structuring assignment to assign variables from arrays. Okay, so if we've if we're at this point, we should have done these previous three destructuring lessons. Um, if you've done these ones, then this will make a lot of sense. It's practically identical to um, object destructuring with arrays. It's actually more simple in my opinion. So this is the syntax, right? So if we want to create a variable A and B out of this array, this is how we would do it. And we would get one and two. A would be one, B would be two. Right, A is the, the first item, B is the second, one is the first item, two is the second. So it assigns these two values directly to those two values in the order that you're, you're placing them here, right? Hope that made sense, but you can see quite literally that if A and B are one and two, then setting up this syntax, C would be three and so forth, right? So if we wanted to, for example, grab the five out of here, we wanted A, B, and C to be one, two, and five, we could do it with this syntax. So this is what it's, it's showing here, is that C is now five because of these commas here. So A gets this comma, B gets this comma, and then we have two extra commas here. So A is one, B is two, and then this comma is three, and this other comma is four, and then C has to be five. It is important to note here that this B is attached to this comma, right? So if there's three commas between B and C, we're really skipping the two places, right? So B is two, and then there's three commas, three, four, and now C is five. So if there's three commas, you're jumping two places is what I'm trying to get at, because one of these commas always ties to this, to B, which is two, right? So B and this comma apply to two, and then the next comma applies to three, and then the next comma applies to four, and then there is no other comma, there's just C, which is five, right? So if there was four commas between here, then we would go to six, because B and one would be three, and then the second one would be four, and the next one would be five, but there is only three, so we're jumping two spots. I hope that made sense. Um, all I'm trying to, to get at is that one of these commas always ties to the, the variable before it, and then the next two are, or next however many, are however many places you're jumping. So if there's three commas between the two variables, you're jumping two places. If there's four commas between the two variables, you're jumping three places, so forth and so on. Okay, so all we're going to do in this challenge is uh, destructure an array so that we swap the values of A and B. So that A has the value of B, and B has the value stored in A. Um, this is not a great example of how to do this, given that they just gave us these examples using an array. Uh, this is this could be done without using an array and without even destructuring. So this is not a great lesson in my opinion, but we're going to, to do it nonetheless. So in this case, all we would have to say is using this syntax that we know here, we could say const b and a equals an array of a and b. So we're assigning the variable b to the value of a, and we're assigning the value of a to the value of b. And you can see here, we're going to get a error because these have already been declared, meaning on line one, we already declared this. So we don't want to redeclare with another const. We just want to swap them. So now if we run this test, that should work. So as you can see, all we did here was we took a array and put A and B inside of it and set that equal to, we assigned it to be flipped, right? So this would work either way. Um, we could say A, B equals B, A, and that would work the same. But the key of what we're doing here is we're taking these two variables, A and B, putting them in an array and destructuring the array with the the reverse of that. So we're literally just flipping it. Um, and that's all there is to it. That's all we had to do for this lesson. I don't think this is a great example of destructuring, but technically this would be considered destructuring the array. So it is what it is, but yeah. Uh, the important thing to note here is that this is creating, 
uh, I guess rather reassigning the variables, this first part. So we're saying A and B variables are now equal to whatever these values are, which would be the equivalent of saying here we have the six and then the eight. So we flip them here. These are the actual values. These are the variables. So that's how this is working. I hope that clarified things. Um, but as you can see, it does want us to have the actual variables in here. But I hope that made sense that this is, to, is reassigning the variables, this first part, and this is actually giving them their value, right? So this is saying, okay, A and B, the variables are equal to the value of B and the value of A if that made any sense. So I hope that helped, hope that made sense. If it didn't, try and rewatch it, ask in the comments and I'll, I'll do my best to get back to you. But um, this is really much simpler than object destructuring. This is just not a great example of showing you how to use it. So I hope that helped. See you guys in the next lesson.